This is your boy E. Wilson, and yes, JTC is on the. I think I heard you. One more time. A little bit louder. Move! Listen, right here in the great city of Euless, Texas. Man, listen, <laughs> I am so excited right now. I don't know what to do with myself. You know, we're celebrating seven years of the JTC Exchange, and let me tell you, it's been some kind of ride. You know, usually when you're the visionary of something, you're there at the beginning, and if you're still alive, you're still here. So just to be every step of the way, it's just been a phenomenal process. The good, the bad, the ugly, everything that comes along with you putting, setting your mind to do something of great magnitude to touch people's lives. But listen, first let me give a quick shout out to JTC Director down in Abilene, Texas, Chris Daughtry. He was on Lavos 93.3 today. Lay that thing down about the book sponsorship that we're having. Listen, um, from Boris Gentleman book, uh, it's so impactful, it's so insightful. Like I tell people, he wrote what I've been saying for the last 20 something years to men, women, boys and girls. So phenomenal book filled with drama, insight. It's a collection of stories. And it just talks about, you know, how important the father is in the family equation, you know. So powerful book for men, and girls of all ages. So, with that being said, way to go, Chris. Also, he's going to be heading the JTC team down in Abilene this weekend. Three on three basketball. They came in second place. He knows. I wish I could go, but you know, uh, I can't do what I used to do. But I tell you, I still shoot your lights out. So anyway, but you know, I'm gonna keep it moving. But Chris is going to handle that. So I know they're going to represent well. Also, at that event, stay close to his um, his uh, group from Boys and Gentlemen group and from Boys and Gentlemen uh, Facebook page. He's going to have information on that for those in the Abilene or surrounding areas either going down and he's going to have a table set up where they're going to be selling books. He's going to be autographing books. He'll be able to share some stuff with you. At the same time, when he goes in, <laughs> the brother got some game. I, I ain't seen him play yet, but this is how way he get off the ground. Brother got some game. So we're excited about what's going on down in Abilene, Texas. Now, on this side, we're going to be going down to Snyder, Texas this Saturday to minister to the Kings at the Price Daniel unit. And listen, I'm so excited to go back to see these Kings. They're anticipating us coming, waiting for a word of encouragement. And listen, they don't even know. I got one of the, I call him the bazooka carriers, uh, world's heavyweight gospel rapper, best on the planet, champion, Rodney True Story Hunter. He's part of the JTC Exchange. He's a financial supporter. He's come to events. He's done his thing. So he's a part. So he's going to be ministering to them kings. I don't know what kind of um, ceiling is in that place, but it's going to go down. It's going to go down. So we're excited about Rodney, his ministry. He's a powerful gospel um, rapper, holy hip hop, as he calls it. You know, I just call him the game changer because if you really listen to his music, It'll encourage you, it'll challenge you, it'll set you free. It, I mean, that brother got substance in his stuff. So we're excited about that. And uh, what else? Uh, it did also, I got my clearance, I think I said, for Cole Township State Penitentiary. I'm going to be going out with Reverend Michael Comic up on May to the men at Cole Township State Penitentiary. So excited about that. So listen, I can go on and on, but I want to give a big shout out to all the people you know who you are from around the country, as far as New York and as wide as California that have said they're going and the monies have already come in for sponsorships for the boys gentlemen books so we can take them into the high school here at trinity we have 140 students and we want to get their books into the hands of 140 students and we're on our way hopefully the next video i have an actual count of where we're at but i'm gonna tell you we're not at 100 yet we're not at 80 yet but i'm gonna tell you we just put the post out the other day and we are on the move. So thank you to everybody. I'm going to be posting pictures uh, of people who already have sponsored. But uh, we're shooting for the 140 books minimum um, going into that high school. That on the last day, they can have this as a summer read and it'll impact their lives. We would love to just give the books out to everybody. But, you know, uh, after a while, you know, you got to have some way of doing it. So that's what we're talking about. Sponsorships. You know where I'm at on Facebook. I don't have to tell you nowhere on the, on the website. You can go in there and donate. You can inbox me. You can get a hold of us to find out the process. But it's real simple. Send the money. Credit card, check, whatever. You send a credit card on me to check the JTC Exchange headquarters right here in Bedford, Texas. Go on the website. The address is there. There's all kinds of ways. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just moved by the responses that have come in 
so we can impact these youth. We can touch much more with you than without you. We can touch them without you, but we can touch more. And so I end this note. Let me just drop this word real quick. Those who watch basketball saw Stephen Curry get hit. He's taught pound for pound right now, maybe the baddest cat on, on, on in the NBA right now. He's up there. He got hurt right before halftime. The game was tied. Second half, I don't know if when he got hurt, his team got pissed against the Houston Rockets, but they came out and they took over. The refreshing thing to see was not that Stephen Curry got hurt, because that's not good. And some say he might be out for a while. I don't know the update. However, look at the power when you have a team. He is pound for pound, without a shadow of doubt, the best player on his team. But look what happened when you have a team. You get hurt, you're going in for x-rays, and the team goes out there and kicks butt. This is what we've been talking about with the JTC Exchange. Whether you're partnered with the JTC Exchange, you're partnered with another organization, whatever you do, there is no such thing as a one man and one woman show. Partnership, the, your movement, your business. If you go on vacation, you gotta shut the whole business down. Eventually, you gotta get some help. You gotta trust somebody. You gotta get some employees. If everything shuts down when you shut down, that's okay, especially if you're starting out. But eventually, you're gonna have to trust somebody. You're gonna have to partner with somebody because your vision, your business, your ministry, whatever it is that's in your hands is bigger than you. If you gotta cook the food, buy the food, clean the food, serve the food, and all that stuff, after a while, it gets wore out. And when I talk about the Golden State Warriors, I think about JTC and all the different volunteers and people who are coming out the woodwork, wanting to be involved. Big shout out to um, Yolanda, Jennings down in Philadelphia who represented us the other week uh, at the prom dress giveaway. There's so much going on. So listen, I'm going to roll www.jtconthemove.org. Check out what's going on with JTC and Shane. Again, thank you to all of our supporters, all of our monthly supporters, everybody volunteers that have a part in this movement. It's not about me. It's about these youth out here. It's about families. It's about bringing positive, productive conversation into this world. And we're not going to stop. So with no further ado, E. Wilson right here, you this Texan. If you want to have a conversation, make it a good one. I'm out. And I mean it. I'm out.